figure shows wide section 1 of diameter D1 is equal to 4R and wide section 2 of diameter D2 is equal to 2R connected by a tapered section. The wire is copper and carries a current. Assume that the current is uniformly distributed across any cross-sectional area through the wire's width. The electric potential change V along the length L is equal to 2 meters shown in section 2 is 10 micro volt. The number of charge carries per unit volume is 8.49 into 10 to the power of 28 meter cube inverse. What is the drift speed of the conduction electrons in section 1? Given the values. The diameter of section 1 is D1, D1 is equal to 4R. So the radius of the section 1 is R1 is equal to D1 by 2 that is equal to 4R by 2. So, radius of section 1 is R1 is equal to 2R and the diameter of the section 2 is D2, D2 is equal to 2R. So, the radius of the section 2 is R2 is equal to D2 by 2 that is equal to 2R by 2. R2 is equal to 1R. This is the radius of the section 2. And the length of the section 2 is L is equal to 2 meters. And at that the potential difference V is equal to 10 micro volt that is equal to 10 into 10 to the power of minus 6 volts and the charge carries per unit volume is n n is equal to 8.49 into 10 to the power of 28 meter cube inverse this is the given values. First of all, we can calculate the, the electric field at the point 2 is E is equal to the electric field at the point 2 E is equal to V by L. This is the electric field at the point 2 or section 2 that is equal to the value of the V is 10 into 10 to the power of minus 6 V whole by where L, L length of the section that is the 2 meters. So the electric field E is equal to the electric field E is equal to 5 into 10 to the power of minus 6 volt per meter. This is the electric field E and we can calculate at the current density at the section both section 1 and 2. The density of the the density of the copper is rho is equal to where rho is the density of the copper rho is equal to 1.69 into 10 to the power of minus 8 ohm meter. This is the density of the copper. So we can calculate the current density at junction 2 is the current density at the section 2 is J2. J2 is equal to the electric field by electric field by the density of the 
copper that is equal to 5 into 10 to the power of minus 6 volt per meter whole by the density of the copper is 1.69 into 10 to the power of minus 8 ohm meter. So, the density of the section 2 or current density of the section 2 J2 is equal to 295.86 ampere per meter square. This is the current density at a section 2. According to the conservation of electric current from the section 1 into section 2, the conservation of the current at the section 1 into section 2, I1 is equal to I2. So, the current at the junction 1 is J1, A1 is equal to the current at the junction 2, J2, A2, where A is the area of the section. So, J1 is equal to J2, a2 by a1 j2 a2 by a1 j1 is equal to the current j2 by a2 is equal to pi into r2 square whole by a1 is equal to pi into r1 square that is equal to j2 into pi into where r2 is the 1 r whole square this is the r2 r2 is equal to 1 r whole square whole by pi into R1 is the R1 is equal to 2R whole square. So, J1 is equal to J2 by 4, where J2 is equal to 295.86 ampere per meter square whole by 4. J1 is equal to the value of the J1 is equal to 73.96 ampere per meter square. This is the J1. So, we can finally we can calculate the current density at the section 1. We can calculate the, the drift speed at the section 1 is the drift speed Vd is equal to the drift speed Vd is equal to J1 by Nq or Ne where Ne is the where N is the, the number of electrons flow per the unit volume and E is the charge of the electrons or so, Vd is equal to J1 by Ne that is equal to where J1 is the 73.96 ampere per meter square whole by where N, N is the 8.49 into 10 to the power of 28 meter cube inverse into where E charge of the electron or particle 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 coulomb. This is the charge of the particle or electron. The drift speed at the section 1 Vd is equal to 5.5 4 4 into 
10 to the power of minus 9 meter per second. This is the drift speed at the section 1. This is the final value.